In 2012, the budget for the Department of Defense in the United States was a staggering $707.5 billion. So one would imagine that they're making some great weaponry, right? Well, would you know that the internet, cell phones, and even the Hummer was originally intended for military defense? Join us as we have a look at some of the craziest weapons ever designed by the government. Phaser Developed by the United States Department of Defense, the Personnel Halting and Stimulation Response Rifle, also known as the Phaser, is a non-lethal weapon designed to disorient and stun enemies rather than to kill them. A light-based gun, a la Star Trek, the Phaser has been designed for use by both soldiers and U.S. law enforcement officials, being the police. The gun temporarily blinds enemies with focused laser beams. Then, the laser lights, which operate at alternating wavelengths, serve to disorient people who look at them, rendering them unable to stand, let alone fight. The good news here is that the laser light used in this weapon does not inflict any permanent damage to people's eyesight. The Golf Ball Grenade Although not in use anymore, the V-40 Fragmentation Grenade was used by the U.S. military from the 1960s through the mid-1980s, and it was distinguished by its compact size. The grenade was no bigger than a golf ball. In fact, soldiers used to refer to it as a mini-frag. The grenade measures 2.5 inches high and 1.5 inches in diameter. Yet despite its miniature size, the V-40 used a safety pin and a lever just like a standard-sized grenade. Oh, and it also packed quite a deadly punch. The golf ball grenade was considered lethal up to a radius of 5 meters and dangerous up to 300 meters from the point of impact. However, this weapon was eventually discontinued because the small size of it made them dangerous for use by soldiers. The short fuse timer and tiny pins made the mini frags difficult to handle and prone to going off without warning. The Corner Shot Rifle and Grenade Launcher One of the bigger problems that U.S. soldiers face in combat has always been the ability to see and fire weapons around corners. This is especially tricky in modern warfare that often takes place in urban settings. However, there's now a weapon in the United States that's in use and enables soldiers to both see and fire around corners, called the Corner Shot. And it comes in two versions, the semi-automatic pistol and a grenade launcher. Here's how it works. A hinge placed in the center of the weapon enables the barrel to pivot to the left or right, while the handle and trigger remain fixed and stationary. A camera is affixed to the weapon as well, which allows soldiers to see what they're shooting at around corners. The corner shot has proven to be popular. So popular, in fact, that military and law enforcement agencies in 15 countries have adapted to using them. The Active Denial System Another non-lethal weapon developed to help disperse crowds, the Active Denial System, transmits an invisible electromagnetic radiation beam that creates a burning sensation on people's skin, sending them running. Called the Goodbye Effect by senior military officials and a heat ray by scientists, the Active Denial System can heat up water molecules on a person's skin to about 130 degrees Fahrenheit from a distance of 500 yards away. Controversial in some circles and dubbed a form of torture by others, the Active Denial System has proven extremely effective. Security experts expect that the system will eventually be used alongside other non-lethal crowd control methods like tear gas, water cannons, and rubber bullets. The Digital Revolver the Armatix digital revolver looks like something out of a science fiction movie, and a version of it was actually featured in a recent James Bond film. This futuristic pistol has a digital safety mechanism that can only be disabled if the operator is also wearing a special wristwatch, one that sends the unlock signal to the gun. The wristwatch itself only becomes active once the user unlocks it with their fingerprint. This means the gun can only be fired by the owner himself, and also prevents the gun from being used by people who might steal it. It also means that the revolver cannot be used against its owner. Many gun experts claim that this approach is the way of the future and a great means of ensuring gun safety. 
How widespread the digital revolver will be remains to be seen. The Railgun The United States Navy is developing an electromagnetic railgun that can fire a projectile faster than the speed of sound. Officially called the 8 megajoule electromagnetic railgun, this shipboard weapon can shoot at Mach 8, which is 8 times faster than the speed of sound, or approximately 5,000 miles per hour. Now, what could such a weapon possibly be used for, you might ask? As of now, the Navy plans to use it to protect warships and as anti-aircraft and anti-missile weaponry. However, it's so powerful that the railgun has the potential to also launch a spaceship into orbit. Oh, and it can also fire on an entire battlefield from offshore. But here's a fun fact. The railgun is powered internally by a device called the flux capacitor. You know, just like the one that powered the DeLorean time machine in Back to the Future? Great Scott indeed. Quantum Stealth Remember the movie Predator? Remember how the Predator was able to use invisible stealth technology to blend into the jungle environment around him? And how when he moved it looked like the jungle itself was moving? Well, that technology is now in the advanced stages of development by the United States military. Titled Quantum Stealth, this technology camouflages people by bending light around the object that it's hiding. And the result is that people and objects literally turn invisible to the naked eye. The images of Quantum Stealth available on the internet are downright freaky. The hope is that the invisible cloaks provided by the Quantum Stealth tech will enable soldiers to infiltrate enemy territory without being detected, and will also give them the ability to launch surprise attacks and carry out assassinations. It all does sound pretty far-fetched, but the future is here and now, and the technology is real. The Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit, aka Talos. With the assistance of several universities and high-tech companies, the United States Special Operations Command has developed a tactical assault light operator suit known as Talos. It is essentially a robotic exoskeleton that soldiers can wear when fighting in a combat zone, and also enables them to withstand bullets and fire as well as monitor their vital signs and see in the dark. The Pentagon has dubbed the project the Iron Man Suit, and there are even reports that the next generation suits will be made of liquid metal that can solidify into an impenetrable suit on command. These suits are also expected to increase each soldier's strength and do pretty much everything but fly through the air. Several prototypes of the suit have been developed, and a first generation of the suit is expected to be fully operational with American soldiers in the year 2018. Where technology evolves from here is anyone's guess. Unmanned Vehicles in a page-turner right out of Terminator, the U.S. military is now experimenting with unmanned vehicles that literally think like they're human creators. Over the past two decades, unmanned vehicles, or drones as they're sometimes known, have become more commonplace with the military. From unmanned airplanes to bomb removal buggies, undersea mini-submarines and surveillance robots. However, up until now, most of these unmanned vehicles, including the airplanes and helicopters, have been piloted by a soldier or technician that's based at a safe distance from harm. The future, though, will see these unmanned vehicles being developed so that they can think and operate on their own without the guiding hand of a human being. In fact, artificial intelligence is being pushed farthest right now by military scientists, and the implications are that we will soon have robots, along with unmanned military vehicles, making their own life and death decisions. While military planners say that this is in the interest of keeping soldiers safe in combat, critics claim that it's like giving robots a license to kill. The Vomit Gun well, believe it or not, a real-life vomit gun has been invented. 
In 2007, the United States Navy signed a contract with a company called Invacon to develop a weapon that uses radio frequency in order to impact a person's sense of hearing and equilibrium. Anyone who gets hit by the vomit gun immediately experiences severe motion sickness and throws up all over the place. At the same time, the Department of Homeland Security's Science and Technology Department engaged a company called Intelligent Optical Systems to develop an LED incapacitator. This incapacitator would emit a rapid pulse of different colored lights to cause dizziness, headaches, and vomiting as well. And as with the other weapons on our list, the vomit gun is viewed as a non-lethal means of subduing people and gaining the upper hand on enemy combatants. But also, as with many weapons on our list, the vomit gun seems to be a case where science fiction has caught up to science fact. This has been a look at some of the most crazy and outlandish weaponry that the United States military and other governments from around the world has ever produced. Which one surprised you the most, and which one would you hate having to be used on you? Let us know all about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Meet Lance Corporal Kylie Watson. Watson is well known for her heroism and efforts to make sure that her fellow colleagues are safe at all times. We know being in combat is hard, but it takes an extraordinary person to put your life before others at every given moment. Here are a few quick facts about Watson. 